kids, welcome back. Today is week 10, day two. Our highlight verse is Leviticus 26, three through four. Leviticus 26, three through four, King James Version. If ye walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and do them, then I will give you rain in due season and the land shall yield her increase, and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. Leviticus 26, 3-4, New International Reader's Version. Follow my rules. Be careful to obey my commands. Then I will send, your, I will send you rain at the right time. The ground will produce its crops. The trees will bear their fruit. Now, do you know what that means? Let's find out. Our explain section says that God remi reminded the Israelites to obey him. God assured the Israelites that obedience would bring the peace of God's presence. God warned the Israelites if they disobeyed, they would experience difficult times and be punished. So God reminded the Israelites to obey his commands. He's reminding them that obedience would bring peace and harvest, but disobedience would bring harm. God wanted to remind them of the covenant he made with Abraham. Since God is just, he also warned the Israelites that their disobedience would lead to punishment. Does that sound familiar to you? <laughs> when we don't obey, there's a consequence for us, isn't there? Even at my age, there's a consequence. If I don't obey the law, I could go to jail or I could pay a fine. Now, if you don't obey your parents, there's a consequence. And each parent is different on what that consequence will be. But you know what it is, don't you? Okay. So how do we apply this to our life? God doesn't only do things when we are obedient. Because of Jesus' obedience on the cross, God's blessings do not depend on our obedience. Now, there's an activity for us, and I'll have it up on the screen for you. Fill in the blanks to reveal the memory verse, Deuteronomy 31.8. Now, here's mine. The Lord himself will go before you. He will be with you. He will never leave you. Do not be afraid. Don't lose hope. Okay, let's respond in prayer. Oh, Jesus, thank you for your obedience on the cross. Lord, help us to be obedient. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Great job, everyone. We'll see you. Now it's time for our memory verse. Deuteronomy 31.8, King James Version. And the Lord, he it is that doth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. Deuteronomy 31.8. And the Lord... He it is that doth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. And for the New International Reader's Version, Deuteronomy 31.8. The Lord himself will go ahead of you. He will be with you. He will never leave you. 
He will never desert you. So don't be afraid. Don't lose hope. Deuteronomy 31, 8. The Lord himself will go ahead of you. He will be with you. He will never leave you. He will never desert you. So don't be afraid. Don't lose hope. Great job, everybody. Keep practicing. We'll see you next time.